strapped to a chair, unable to move, and tased over and over again. It sounds like something out of a nightmare, right? But it happened at the hands of deputies inside a local jail, and it's all caught on tape. Investigative reporter Ben Hall has the story behind that video, and we want to warn you, it is disturbing. It's terrible. I don't know. These pictures show how 18-year-old Jordan Norris looked after spending several days in the Cheatham County Jail last year. His body was covered with burns after being jailed on drug and weapons charges. I said, Jordan, what is that? It looked like he had the measles. And he said, that's where they tased me. Could not wrap my mind around that. His stepdad, William so Chapman, said, counted more than 40 uh, burns and demanded to know what happened. I was actually giving the police the benefit of the doubt over my own child because I'm thinking he must have been fighting back. He must have been resisting. But his opinion changed when he saw the jail's own video from the booking room and from cameras on the tasers themselves, which revealed officers used tasers over and over again to stun Norris while he was restrained in a chair. It was heartbreaking. It was very heartbreaking. Cheatham County's use of force report indicates Norris began banging his head against the door of his cell and threatening other inmates. You see officers remove Norris from his cell and bring over a restraint chair. I think he had some sort of breakdown. He said he was feeling suicidal. Chapman uh, says it's clear his son it. was not in his right mind. <laughs> the video shows multiple officers surrounding Norris, who clearly struggled. They use a handheld taser to stun him as they attempt to strap him in the chair. But the family has filed a lawsuit, which claims officers tased Norris later that night while he was on suicide watch, physically restrained by the chair and multiple officers. But Sheriff Breedlove said officers followed procedure because Norris continued flinching and was not fully restrained. An overhead camera shows what happened. Asking, do you want me to do it again? And we got like a whole bunch of batteries we can train into you pretty much. Like, so we'll do it over and over till we have no more. On the Sheriff Department Facebook page from the week Norris was arrested, the sheriff himself seemed to taunt Norris, saying he peed a little bit when he was first arrested by the SWAT team. He called Norris a drug dealer by trade and on the fast track to live the thug life. Breedlove says the Facebook page is meant to be humorous and entertaining. But he said Norris's treatment after he was arrested was not taunting, but necessary. You could hear someone else saying, wow, they're really lighting him up. Attorney Ben Rabin says the force was excessive and not appropriate. We think that the tapes speak for themselves. We're going to get you up and we're going to escort you to the car. Yeah. Norris was finally taken to a patrol car to go to the hospital. He appears unaware of what's happening. Okay, calm down. Can we get beat up after the no, Norris later broke out the window to a patrol car before being taken to a mental health facility. His family says no one deserves what happened to him. When I found out that he was actually strapped to a restraint chair, it was even more mind-boggling. Uh, it just didn't make any sense. Sheriff Breedlove declined an on-camera interview but stressed his deputies followed procedure. He said Norris was strong and out of control and said they had to stun him to gain compliance. Ben Hall, News Channel 5, investigates.